Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. Whoops, let me fix my mic here. There we go. Hey, Joe, JW, Mr. Goodson. How you guys up doing? All right, let's go here. So uh, yesterday, uh, by the way, oh, today is October 23rd. It's Friday um, for this uh, recording. Um, yesterday, we closed with a bearish engulf here. Today, it looks like we're trying to open up with an inside day. So the whole, the whole thing about today is going to be, are we going to take out this top or come down through this bottom? And that's what we want to watch for. Also, what we're doing here is if we stay, say, just sort of in this level here, basically above the T-line, if we stay there, what we're doing is we're creating a um, little consolidation box. So this consolidation box usually... It, it doesn't go on forever. This this is pretty tight. So what we'll be watching for is, uh, like I said just a moment ago, either that you know break out uh, into bullishness um, or break down into bearishness here. So uh, let's keep an eye on that. Top of this can yesterday's candle, the bottom of yesterday's candle, important areas, and if we stay in the middle, okay, that's that's actually not bad at all. Did I say October 23rd? August 23rd. Sorry about that, Tammy. August 23rd. Eight. Eight. <laughs> it's, it's Friday morning, and I'm yet a cup of coffee short of being straight. <laughs> um, a few things that we, which almost everything here is in the bullish favor. Almost everything. And the only thing that's not in the bullish favor is when you get tossed a bearish engulf. That's, you know, that, that sort of, um, that, that, that sends shockwaves through uh, the bullish side of things. But outside of that, price still above the T-line. T-line is above the trend indicator. While we have this bearish engulf, we do not have follow through yet. That's important. We do not have follow through. So... Let's see what today brings. Mr. Powell speaks at, I believe, 10 Eastern. So right away this morning, let's just get that over with and uh, really might put some, um, might be able to put numbers on the board after that. Um, SC Bart is asking, when signing up for TC2000, which additional data? Oh, I'd have to look at that. I don't even, I mean, off the top of my head. I don't know. That's a do it and forget it thing, Bart. We'll we'll take a look. I'll see what I have anyway here after the market opens. Okay. Um. So, uh, quickly peek at IWM. IWM. I think IWM is acting just fine. Once again, it's the old standard. Price uh, is above the T line. T line is above the trend indicator. Look at the candles. Do you see bullish or bearish activity here? And and if you see both, because one could say, well, that's, you know, bearish, or maybe even that's an Oreo cookie setup, which is bearish, then this candle here, what we need to do is prove either up or down, up or down. So are we going to, are we going to move up for bullishness? Or are we going to use down uh, for bearishness below those candles? Pretty simple with the candlesticks. Pretty, pretty simple here. Q's. Q's, 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 they look just like the SPY. Uh, there, there's, there's so many tech stocks that's in the SPY, the Q's and the SPY, they almost just, they, they almost mirror each other anymore uh, because of the tech stocks in there. It looks pretty much the same. Here, let's take a look at a few charts. Um, S, I closed my S yesterday for a 42% uh, gain here. Um, I did not close it at the top. I probably should have closed it uh, near the top, and I had the ability to do that. Uh, but I was trying to be a little greedy, uh, so I ended up for a little less. But 42% works for me. Let's watch for a pullback. We still have some upside targets to this. Uh, still looking pretty good. Um, I did close Pizza PZZ8 yesterday. I didn't like the way it was looking. I didn't like the bearish engulf uh, in the SPY. And I closed this uh, for a 21% loss. So um, between those two, I still had a net gain for yesterday. 
Um, Cliff. I, I posted Cliff this morning on our Facebook user group. Uh, if anybody is in that group, um, check it out. Uh, otherwise, I have it right here. I think Cliff is setting up off the bottom. The main target is going to be, I say the main, not necessarily the first, but the target I'm really, really shooting for. The target that's going to make the difference for this trade, I think, for me anyway, making money, is going to be this 1380 area right through there, right through there. And then we'll reevaluate from that uh, area right there. So uh, it's going to have to get through this 1310-ish, uh, 1350, uh, then we get up here to 1380. And then we'll worry about getting up here to the 50 period moving average. So little stair steps up, but that's the main area. What I like most about this chart, uh, well, maybe not most, uh, but um, I like it that it's over the T-line. We've got a little bottom here. Let's take a look at that 60-minute chart. And look at that bottom in the 60-minute chart. In fact, uh, here, let's do this. Let's just put this in there right there. There's an inverted head and shoulders. There's a very nice gap up, and then it just starts that nice, nice little swing, you know, lows and highs and lows and highs up. This is a rounded bottom breakout. You can see here where the next target's going to be uh, right in that 1310 area. And then we've got the dotted deuce up here on the 60 minute chart at 1340, followed by the daily target of 1350. So Cliff is big time on my list. I like that one. Um, LI is another one, kind of similar. Here's LI. Uh, it's a daily rounded bottom breakout. You can see price has moved up. Target's around 2235. And then I just put the target here at the dotted deuce, 2440. But we really need to pay attention to that, that uh, those lines right in there. Uh, that's a 50% retracement from the top to the bottom of what I consider the trade area. And we really need to get through that. So let's watch what the candlestick does there. And then, of course, at the dotted deuce there. Um, and we'll go look at the 60-minute. There's a 60-minute chart. And this, while this is not a, a rounded bottom breakout, on the 60 minute, you can see how it's trending up here, right there. So, um, AKAM, I'm liking what AKAM does. This is another rounded bottom breakout. Oops, let's turn real time back on. There we go. There we are. So you see the candle that's being put in pre-market. Uh, the only thing I want is to be over the T-line. Anything below the T-line becomes a little questionable for me. Uh, which just means that it might need to stall out, rest, maybe even pull back a little bit before more new buyers uh, come into it. But we've got this nice gap up right in here. And for the most part, we're just moving sideways. So I'm watching for that candle that, that the scanner throws at you that just says, hey, this it's time to buy. And then moving up, you've got the 200 period moving average. And then about that 108.30 and then I think it's reevaluate after that level right there. Uh, what is this? L-U-N-R. L-U-N-R. There we go. L-U-N-R. So we've got this big pop to the upside. This is a very, very simple gap and trap. Uh, comes off the gap and trap scan. So gap and trap. So I'm looking for that bullishness, which we have right here. Now pulling back into the 3-8 trap. Um, and then waiting or watching for you know some bullish activity i don't want to buy if it just if it keeps if it keeps putting in negative you know downward candles i don't want to buy that i want to buy it when that candle turns green and i see buyers buying it that's what i want to do in here so nice nice little gap flagpole so far a nice little pullback or pbo PBO, pullback opportunity. Um, PDD. Whoops, PDD, PDD. Nope, try that again, I guess. PDD, there we are, PDD. See that little run right there? A little nice little run. See how it broke the downtrend line? Right there. See the red dots? See the green dots? It's working, man. Up, and there's your 3-8 trap right now. 
uh, entry would be on a bullish candle. I kind of, I think I kind of like the idea of, of an entry over this black candle here of 149.10ish. 149.10ish. Uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan is getting it done here. It's uh, breaking out. So let's just go look at the monthly chart just to get a, a step back view. You can see how bullish JP Morgan has been. Up and back, up and back, up and back, always leaning to the upside. So quite, quite bullish here. Uh, looking pretty good to me. Uh, there's your weekly chart right in there. Uh, just a, a simple move up here to um, let's see, we're at 117. Um, watch this area around 135 or so. That might be a nice target uh, on this. I'm gonna actually lower that. No, nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it right there, around 136. That might be a nice target. Remember on the way up, what you're going to see is some pullbacks on the way up. Probably some pullbacks that make you wonder why the heck you even bought the chart. More than likely. But outside of that, nice bullish looking chart. Uh, breaking out into some new highs up there. Um, Apple. I'm still holding my Apple. Uh, it still looks pretty good here. It's still trending up. Dots are still green. T-line is above the trend indicator. Price is above the T-line. Life is good, right? Everything is working out just fine. So just chugging right along. Uh, any new buys, I would watch for a, well, 3A trap here. You know, if we hold green, 3A trap, or a breakout of about this 227.70 area, and that should send it up to around 233.50, and then it can challenge these uh, two candles up here on the top. If we take a look at VXX yesterday, uh, the VIX, it tried to pop up, but it really didn't get anywhere. It didn't do anything that just, you know, screams um, fear in the market uh, necessarily. So not too worried about that. The biggest thing I'm worried about is at 10 o'clock this morning, um, is it 10 or nine? I'd have to look. When, when Mr. Powell talks, uh, that's my biggest fear. Uh, he could be the most powerful man in the world. And um, you, you got to watch. You don't have to watch what he says. Just watch the market. The market will decide what he says is good, bad, or indifferent. And then we'll just trade with the market, trade with the trend, okay? All right, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you have, have had a terrific week. And if you have questions, get them out there right after that market opens. We'll see everyone, okay? You guys take care. See you in about 30 minutes when the market opens up.